three things today I hope it's recording now in fact I've asked my guy can he let me know if it's recording on Skype and please Pedro just let me know, just Skype me again just to confirm that it's actually recording this time okay three things um, pe people recently have been saying Robert you're feeling a bit down or sounding a bit down and your writings are not as punchy as they used to be and, and I agree I, you, you know I really uh, was well, it felt like I was getting nowhere with everything but then um, I never really realized how coordinated the attack on us uh, all the way around the world from every government around the world was uh, just together it means it's like a whole world fascist takeover of the world and spearheaded by the pharmaceutical medical cartel with their um, pandemic terror rain and but there you go that's what we've got anyway it, it did inspire me to uh, realize that I was going nowhere with Facebook because um, what's happening is my posts are being either taken down and, and certainly nobody's allowed to share my posts so it, it just felt we were getting nowhere but it inspired me to come up with a new idea which is have our own social media uh, system and it's called Good Health Global. I think it's a dog trying to get him. Uh, and um, the, uh, it's not ready yet. You can go there and see it, goodhealthglobal.com. But eventually it will be a full social media system whereby you can come see the posts, see the videos, see some live stuff, uh, comment on it, ask questions, um, share it. Um, and so, you know, just generally it's a social media system except it's owned by me not by Facebook or any, any <clears throat> of the other people and I've also got one uh, uh, on Telegram which is just for posts nothing else post 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 you can't comment but it's quite useful for reading and getting resources the thing is I can't there's no point in me putting uh, you know hard-hitting punchy things about the what's going on with the terrorism taking over the world is because it just gets taken down you don't even see it and so okay so this good things coming from from if you like me coming up against a brick wall but um, in the meantime I want to just go over a few things anyway which because one thing that really annoys me and angers me is uh, seeing children wearing masks um, I mean I do blame the the, the governments and um, for bringing out these laws but I blame parents as well you know they should be defending their children not giving them masks to wear and there's a new study just come out uh, and it's the biggest study in the world on masks from Denmark and they don't work full stop they don't work biggest study in the world don't let anybody tell you ah well there's lots of studies there are no studies this is the first uh, double blind study over thousands of people so you know let's get the mass off the Here's kids what I found on the web. oh sorry that's my phone talking back to me good, good job somebody talks to me anyway um we, we all know the pharma medical uh, criminal cartel they've been criminals for years and been fined billions of dollars for their frauds for the damaging people killing people and they just pay fines and just but of course they've got their big payday coming now so they don't care how many billions they were fined because they're going to get many many times that back if everybody in the world has to be vaccinated so that's their goal and it's up to us to um, to stop them however we can so we'll do that um, the big annoying thing is that we know exactly how to stop all this and that's to have vitamin D3 vitamin C zinc selenium magnesium etc in fact I was reading a little article before um, I came on this and it said why do some people die from COVID-19 and other people don't? And the reason is quite simple because there are studies showing that if you have those supplements that I've just said in your body, then you don't die. Even if you're an at-risk person, even if you've got lung disease or heart disease or whatever, or you're on um, drugs or whatever, or you're obese, if you have those, you still don't die. So not only will the uh, protect the average healthy person they'll protect unhealthy people as well 
I wonder if that's why they don't want to tell us about them, because that way not many people would be dying and they would have no terror tactics they could put on us. We'll see. The truth is that the Swedish example of no lockdown is also showing that people don't die. In fact, they've got hardly anybody dying at all of anything because they did have a lot of people. They, they like other countries and, and cities in the USA. They put very sick people into care homes because they didn't want them in the hospitals. And all that happened is these people died. And so those people that probably would have died actually this autumn or this, this winter, but they can't die twice, so they've died. And that's, um, uh, but Sweden has hardly anybody dying whatsoever. It's crazy. <clears throat> um, nobody's telling us about anything about nutrition. The government's are not telling us, the education authorities are not telling us. They're not even telling us about food, about banning um, junk food. They're just allowing people to, to do what they want. In, in other words, they almost want us to get sick. They almost want us to die because that fits in with the plan, which is to get everybody vaccinated in the world and also never to change these draconian laws. It will always be, oh, there's another uh, pandemic. Oh, there's another this, that. And they'll have people jumping up and down. If they'll have, I mean, if they can say to us all, you cannot leave the house, you have to stay there. In the city of Adelaide in, in um, uh, Australia, from yesterday, Nobody's even allowed to leave the house whatsoever. And this happened in um, Melbourne before that. So they're testing all sorts of terror tactics anyway. I mean, uh, you, you, well, you already know they're planning to control everybody with facial recognition, mobile apps and implanted chips has been tested in, in China, but uh, that's not... Why is that not? It is moving. Is that moving? Please move along. Don't do that to me. <laughs> Start working. Anyway, it doesn't, matter, doesn't really matter. So, this, this tough stuff is going on and we need to fight it. I've got a solution and I will be bringing the solution out. But what I do need is for you to share anything that ha I have. You can't share my posts, but you can take my posts, co copy them and, and put a link back to either my Telegram or the new um, goodhealthglobal.com when it's ready. It's not ready. I'll announce when it's ready. You'll know when it's ready to, to use properly. It's all working now, Pedro finally told me. Thanks, Pedro. Um, and uh, and so lastly, um, I didn't want to make a big deal this week, but I had such a lovely story about the treatment of dogs um, that I thought I would share them with you, actually, uh, or share this with you. Um, we've been treating animals with our products, especially Serapeptase, for 20 years with amazing results. People have used it for parrots, for horses, for dogs, cats. Um, I, I mean, I, I just don't know all the things because I, I see these things go past the testimonials and everything, but tremendous amount of things. But just wanted to show you um, uh, just one one um, testimonial about a dog, actually, which is, um, and this is on my iPad, and stop the slideshow, and let's have a look at, is that coming through? Please come. No, it is going to come through. There it is. OK, this is from Rosie. Her dog suffered with Lyme disease and after visiting the vet was in a mess. Look at this. You know, the poor dogs. It's an elderly dog, obviously, but it could hardly walk. And who wants to see their dog? You know, this is for dog lovers, because if you're not a dog lover, it's not the same. But anyway, she gave it Serapet. And look at this. Just literally a few weeks later, running around like a two year old. I can't promise you'll run around like a two-year-old, but you know you still should be taking serapeptides. I take a lot of serapeptides every day. I'm 74, going on 75, as you know, and um, it really is um, a great thing. 
So that's it. Just a quick, quick one this week. Next week, I hope to have some news and tell you that, um, but I'll still do this one next week, every week, in fact, but I'll also be doing more videos on, on the um, Good Health Global once we've got that fully live. Okay, you take care.